Oh, did I put the microphone on? Okay. <laughs> and this is the the small talk before we really go live. Outside world over there. Yep. There's. Cr hey, Carlos is joining in. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? I was gonna go outside. I wanted to go to the cafe across the street, but it's cold. Like, feels like it's gonna snow cold. Seriously, like snow cold, snow. Feels like it's gonna snow cold. It's almost like I'm saying snow cone. <laughs> yeah, Christine's like over there and she dropped this insane video last night. If you haven't seen it, go to her Facebook page. It's, you didn't drop it? Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> I thought she dropped it. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. But she didn't drop, oh, she's, she didn't drop it. Okay, well, you've got to see it when she does. It's, it's funny. She's being shy about it right now, I can tell, but yes. Hey, Facebook is saying, keep going. We're telling your friends. We're spreading the word. This may take a minute. So... Today's wedding tip, I really think that it should be an extension of what I was talking about earlier. And what I was talking about earlier is just kind of like more of the something for photographers and filmmakers, but it really got me to thinking about like for family at weddings. Now, the previous episode, I believe I was talking about how everybody you know it takes a village basically so what i want to talk about today is how the bride and groom or the bride and bride or groom and groom whatever it might be no judgment here but whatever the couple whatever the couple um is planning for their wedding day what I really want to address is how, even though it is your wedding day, how you can make it special for your family that's going to be there. Let me explain what I'm talking about a little bit more. Basically, the video that I was talking about earlier was addressing the filmmakers and photographers to show the, what I refer to as like the VIP wedding attendance, uh, a little extra attention show them <laughs> JB that's that's a great question do you wear those glasses at a wedding I have worn these I've worn my Wayfarers and my googly the googly glasses Google glass um, I almost I almost busted out my Tom Fords from Italy but I'm I'm this close if you go back in time on my Facebook page uh, you'll see me wearing my Tom Fords to an event that I had photographed that I think it was the former president Bill Clinton was there, Lady Gaga, a whole bunch of people were there and I wore them at that event so you'll totally see them. Uh, definitely the Google Glass, totally rock those as well. I just really have been enjoying the, the David Fords. They, they work well with my Kangol and I like because I'm still kind of, you know, still showcasing a lot of the extra pizza and nachos and Newcastles in my face and in my neck. I want to wear the bigger sunglasses, so my face looks a little bit smaller for the moment, if that makes any sense. It's kind of like a bigger person my size would not want to wear horizontal lines on my clothing. Not yet, but soon, very, very soon. Okay, I lost track. Christine's like right over there, seriously, and it's bugging me that she didn't drop that video because it's it's hilarious. It is, it is so funny. I was... In, I, I heard her in her recording studio and I was at my desk working and all of a sudden I just hear her busting up, like laughing so hard. I'm like, what? What? What is she doing? And then she shows me the video and it's like, absolutely, it is, it's bloody hilarious. You, I can't, my scarf. <laughs> I feel like Snoopy when I do that in the cartoons. Okay, so I lost my track. We're talking about sunglasses. We're talking about fashion. We should probably talk more about fashion but not today. Today is going to be more about how the couple on their wedding day can really show the VIP 
family members and friends a little extra attention. The reason Uptown, uh, Eddie Izzard says that San Francisco is a city of snakes in one of his programs. Uh, Uptown Minnesota or Uptown Minneapolis in Minnesota is a city of horns, very similar to New York. It's constant honk, 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 honk. It's crazy. Okay, so what I'm referring to about making, I'm not making, because you can't make anybody feel anything, but you can show a little extra attention and a little extra love to the family members that have either flown in or are in town and the VIP people, which to me would be your grandparents, your great grandparents, great uncles, your truck outside on the street, uh, your close family friend that raised you since you were three, whatever it might be. Those particular people play a special role in your life and it's really key to show them that they're important to you on that particular wedding day. And what I mean by that is that these family members of yours, these VIP family members, they grew up in a different age. When you've got a great grandmother, great grandfather, there's no way they're 50, there's no way they're 60, they're a little bit higher. And these particular people should really be shown a little extra attention in the sense that it's time. That is all that your family really wants from you. And I see it all the time. I'm, I'm speaking from experience. This isn't one or two weddings that I've photographed experience. This is a lot of weddings that I have photographed over the years. And these particular people also move at a different pace. So in today's hyper fast, give it to me now, needed it yesterday, why isn't it done in 10 seconds society, your great grandparents and your grandparents grew up in a different day and age where things were a bit slower back then. And they're also moving slower. Hey, hello, what's up Dion? How you guys doing? I hope you guys have been doing great. It's been like forever since your wedding. Like forever. We need to do a portrait shoot. We need to do like an encore portrait shoot. Okay, so your family members move at a bit of a different pace and they just want to spend time with you. They, they want to, it's not a selfish thing that they're looking towards from you guys, but it's more of just when you go that extra distance, they really feel the love from you. Even if it's an extra five minutes during your wedding day and you just sit down and you talk to them and you really just say, thank you so much for being here. Go down memory lane just a little bit. Talk about positive things that they remember when you were growing up. These are key things that your family, definitely, totally inbox me or shoot me an email or text me, Dion, It'd be awesome. Planning the upcoming spring and uh, winter shoots, definitely here. Already working on something for this winter. Horses are involved this winter. Mm. <laughs> so when you sit down and you talk to your grandparents and your great grandparents, they really feel the love from you. And it's a simple gesture of time. That's it. They have no other expectations other than they want to see how amazingly uh, beautiful your day is, how incredible you look in your dress, how incredible you look in your suit or your tuxedo. And outside of that, they would love to be able to share a little bit of time with you on your wedding day. And I'm not talking just the photographs because the quick hugs and kisses and congratulations immediately after the ceremony. No, 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 no. I'm talking about, yes, totally. I'm going to be watching for your message, Dion. So what they just want to have is time. Sit down and talk to them. I've had many conversations with some incredible people. I love, for me personally, I love taking that extra time to get to sit down and talk to family members and really get to know them. Just recently, when I was photographing Brittany and her husband David's wedding, I got to meet her grandparents and he served in the military. Her grandmother was a Navy wave, if I remember correctly. And to be able to meet these people that had endured so much in their lives, 
and then to be able to be at your wedding day is pretty amazing because if you really think about it, great grand great grandparents and grandparents, if they didn't have kids, you guys wouldn't be here. You guys wouldn't be getting married and they they really want to share in that experience with you. So when you're planning your wedding day, and this is one of the other things we've talked about in the past, making that big chart and really getting things dialed in. When you're planning your wedding day, set a little time aside for your grandparents or your great grandparents or those special people that are in your life. It will mean the world to them. And here's something like, I have, I have a way that I can possibly parallel that. All right, well, happy birthday, Joan. Seriously, loving life. I love that and uh, being totally spoiled on your birthday. That's the way to go. Christine, she totally uh, spoiled me just recently, of, well, a few months ago on my unbirthday. And all I wanted was to just enjoy a movie with her and go to the theater and get a couple bags of popcorn. <laughs> as, as simple as it is, that's all that I wanted. Okay, so let me help you understand where I'm coming from about family and those key people that are in your life. When I had photographed a wedding years ago, years and years and years ago, you're totally welcome, Joe, absolutely, absolutely, happy birthday, or as I would say, happy beer day. And now that you've brought it up, when I'm done with this episode, I'm gonna have to go to your Facebook page. It's tradition. I have something special to share with you, so stay tuned. <laughs> All right. So years ago, I had photographed a wedding in Malibu, and it was this massive, I mean massive, elaborate, huge, 300 and plus something people at this wedding. and. There were a lot of people, and it was this huge Latino wedding. Hi, Heidi, what's up? Thank you so much for joining. It's really cool that you're here. Thank you. And this massive Latino wedding had tons of people that flew in from all around the world. We're talking South America, Mexico, you name it. There were people that came in from everywhere. And it was just one of those things of just, and you guys know, you know me, it's like I just have fun with everybody. And I got a chance to be able to you know, chat it up with some of the family members during the portraits. And one of the grandfathers, no, no, I'm sorry, let me back it up. One of the great grandfathers was there. He's like 94, I mean, and sprightly. The man was like up and moving and dancing and, and schmoozing everybody and sweet talking the ladies. I mean, the, he had it going on. I was impressed for an older guy pushing 100. Wow, that was impressive. And we got to chatting and I got to, you know, just really have a good conversation with him. And towards the end of the wedding reception, he wanted to share a toast with me. He just went, hey, let's have a shot of tequila. He brought some stuff from home. I mean, it, dang, it made like Patron look terrible, look like just sewer water. And it smelled incredible. But I have a very harsh, staunch, firm rule that I will not drink when I'm shooting unless certain circumstances arise, but I explained to him that it was just too early throughout the evening to be able to sit down and have a toast with him, but I would do that at 10.01 that evening, as soon as everything was done. He understood where I was coming from. I know, totally, Heidi, I agree. Like, a good, like, I was gonna say vodka, <laughs> good tequila, <sighs> yeah, that that's good. Like, people that buy, like, the bottom shelf stuff, that's just guaranteed hangover and sick, and it's just not worth it. So this particular gentleman understood where I was coming from. And throughout the next like 90 minutes to couple hours, he a couple times approached me and definitely uh, was eager to share that with me and wanted to show his appreciation for how much fun he was having and what I brought to the party, basically. And that was how he wanted to express that with me. Eventually it got to the point where I needed to sit down and share a shot of tequila. We wanted to pet in two, and it was good. It was so good. But I spent about 10 minutes with him, just sitting there chatting at the end of the reception. And that was so cool. And for me, I felt so honored to be able to have somebody so firm. Wait a minute. I just saw on the list here, we have a celebrity bride that has joined this particular conversation, Shelby. Hello, Shelby. 
Shelby, if you go back in time, Shelby's wedding was featured on WeTV with David Tutera. Long story, 10 hour, 12 hour engagement shoot. She's awesome. Her and her husband, or then fiance, Matt, super cool. Anyways, as I was sitting down chatting with him, it's just really great to have a very warm conversation with him. Now, granted, I'd say about 80% of that conversation was translated, but it was great. I felt honored. I felt blessed to have him share that with me. And at the same time, I could tell that it was reciprocated and I knew that was pretty much how he felt when the best man had communicated to me that he really appreciated me taking that extra pinch of time to just talk to him, to be able to sit down and chat with him. And I've seen far too many times the grandparents and the great grandparents, they're off to the side sitting down and, and they're older, they can't get up. It's a struggle for them. And, and that's normal, that's just life. I mean, I'll never get old, I'm still 25, so I don't have to worry about that. But other people do age. <laughs> and, and it's a bummer when I don't see family just chatting with them. And that's all they want. That's really all they want is to just, to be able to spend a little bit of time with you guys at the wedding reception or at some point during that particular day. And trust me when I say this, that sometimes those can possibly be, and this has happened, the photograph that I had taken of a grandmother and grandfather, one of them had passed away no more than a week later after that particular wedding. That was years ago. Absolutely one of my favorite all-time portraits and I insisted on capturing it and the bride and the groom, they follow me on here. So if, if they chime in, yay. If not, I just want to respect their privacy. But the bride and the groom had appreciated the fact that we took that extra effort. And the grandparents appreciated it, that the bride and the groom took that extra effort to show that they loved them, that they just wanted a beautiful portrait at you know during the evening and to just spend a little bit of time with them because none of us know when that moment is up but people just want time and especially people from a different generation a different age that's all they want and they want to spend it with you they showed up they coordinated your wedding day may be the the event of the year for them because whatever reasons that they may have that they can't get out often they're not very mobile they don't have the finances they live in a different part of the country different part of the world who knows seriously you guys and they made it a point to be at your wedding your wedding and it might be the only thing that they go to they don't even go to bingo they don't do any of that but they went to your wedding Dang, what an awesome blessing. That is like the biggest gift that they can give to you other than, you know, they can go to Tiffany's or Target or wherever, Macy's, Needless Markup, Nordstrom, whatever it might be and buy a pretty gift. But that's just a pretty gift. Time is priceless. Seriously, priceless. And to be able to share that with them and the stories that you guys can learn from your grandparents and your great grandparents, they have the stories. I mean, dude, there's a lot that you can learn about your family just from spending 10 minutes with your grandparents. There's a lot you can learn about yourself from spending just a few minutes with your family. It's pretty epic. I'm a photographer and I learn things about families. I'm just a guy with a camera. You guys are getting married and, and you have all these amazing family members. Holy crap, that's pretty epic to be able to, to share that. So when you're planning your wedding, plan a little extra time with those VIP family members or those VIP people that are in your family that made it, that you know made the extra commitment to be there on your wedding day. They'll appreciate it. They really, really will. And if that's the last time that you see them, you're, you're giving them the love on the most amazing day of your life. You're sharing it with them and you're sharing your love with them. What a beautiful gesture from 
both directions, for both directions. It's pretty awesome. I see it, I get to be a part of it and witness it, and I'm just the guy with the camera. You guys got the family, and that's pretty epic. It really is. So, when you're planning your wedding, make time for those VIP people in your life. They'll love you for it, because it's just time. And 10 minutes in your life, 15 minutes, 30 minutes out of your life on your wedding day will not cripple your wedding day. And if you work with the right wedding vendors, they will allow for it. Trust me, it can happen. It can totally, totally happen. And you'll, you'll appreciate that time with your family that much more. It's really very meaningful. So you guys take that to heart and you know, think about those people that are gonna be at your wedding. And if you get an opportunity, take a look at the video that I had recorded earlier today. And just keep in mind, none of us know when we're going home. None of us know when that day is coming. But to be able to share that wedding day with your family, that's pretty epic. And it's a blessing. You've been blessed with their time. They would love to have that blessing from you with your time. So that's about it, you guys. I've got some more editing to do. Hmm. I've got a couple things up my sleeve that I'm gonna be sharing with you very, very soon. But stay tuned next week. I've got a couple other ideas that I want to be able to share with you for some other tips and tricks that will help you save time, money, your sanity, and also really share the love that you guys have with not only each other, but with your family members as well. So that's about it. This is David Esquire with Esquire Photography coming to you live from EPHQ dot Minnesota. <laughs> and uh, until the next time, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below or shoot me an email, call me, text me, whatever it might be. I always, like always have a keyboard somewhere with me and I've always got one or two phones with me or batteries so you, can, you guys know you can always reach me. That's about it. Till next time, I will see you soon. <laughs> I'm serious, I feel like a Muppet when I do that. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll see you soon. Cheers.